Hey guys, welcome back to the fourth installment of the City Skylines Let's Play. I think last episode we uh, wrapped up building our highway currently that's extending through the middle of our city in our industrial area. And today we're going to go ahead and just get the game going here, get it rolling. We've got a pretty high demand for building more of our commercial zones. Now currently we got them placed in between the residential and the industrial area. But I'm thinking we're going to end up moving them more towards this river area right here. Um, no real rhyme or reason for it. I just think it'll look nicer over there. Plus, it'll kind of keep the traffic down in this area and increase it over there, which I'm totally okay with. Let's see. We do have actually a really, really sharp bank here leaning into this river so what we can do is we can go to the terrain tab here and under the water structures line you can get what are called i don't even know how you pronounce this but then give the shoreline just this real nice finish to it i don't know if we'll be able to place them here though it might be too uh too deep uh we might have to toy around with it a little bit. They appear to be a little finicky. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't look like they're actually going to fit right there. It's kind of a shame. But, we're going to go ahead and get the roads going here. We are going to do a four lane road. And with this one we're actually going to do the bus lanes. Uh, we do have the uh, transportation tab open. We just don't really have money right now to uh, to get a bus lane going. We don't exactly have the need for it either at the moment. But we're just going to go ahead and get a road slapped down here. We're going to try and keep it pretty close to that shoreline. Just so it looks nice. Connect it up like that just for now. And we do definitely need to connect this <clears throat> either with the highway or the industrial zone. Um, just the way it's going right now, we'll probably connect it up. Yeah, we got a little bit of traffic going here, so this road's going to have to get upgraded and managed. We'll probably, just for the time being, just go ahead and loop this in and create a junction there just so we can get some uh, trucks and stuff flowing through here. See, we'll go ahead and we'll zone this front as the commercial area. Go ahead and run some water out there. And since the buildings aren't probably going to be immediately connected, actually, just to avoid running power lines to them, we'll just go ahead and zone this area commercial too. Hopefully we'll see a lowering of the demand as that goes away. We can zone that residential. Try and get a few more people in here. Now, electricity is about to become an issue again. Fortunately, didn't we place down this coal plant? We did. So that's kind of that kind of sucks. I was hoping this coal plant would last a little longer. What we can do is increase the budget for them. We'll increase it another ten percent. And I do believe, yeah, our energy production went up slightly, not a whole lot. We're definitely going to have to figure an energy, something different with our energy. But for the time being, we need to also check. Garbage is in the good, water is good. Health is, we got a few houses here that aren't getting the coverage they need, but I'm not too incredibly worried about that. Fire coverage is an issue, especially right in this area, so we will go ahead and plot the firehouse down, just to kind of keep this area safe from fires. Police coverage, we don't have a lot up in the industrial area, but we don't have to worry about that right now, plus we don't have the money. Education, okay, this is a, a major issue. So for right now, all we have is this one elementary school, and it's definitely not enough to cover the little town that we have growing now. 
Uh, we still don't have a high school, which we need to solve as soon as possible. The public library, I usually don't mess around with a whole lot. I just, I don't think it's, you know, too crazy of an investment that we need to worry about immediately. We'll go ahead and check our traffic. <clears throat> This road, just because it's red right here, doesn't mean the traffic necessarily is heavy. It just means that the road is used a lot more. So these low density roads, obviously you get all the people from these houses that are traveling into the industrial area to, to work at their jobs. And they have to go through one of these lanes, one of these two roads, actually just this road. So this road's getting all the traffic from this entire residential zone. And it's actually, you know, it's, it's not terrible could be more ideal but I'm not too too worried about that this area though is kind of alarming we can definitely do something about this so we'll go ahead and open up the uh, traffic manager mod here clicking on the lane tool here we can decide what these lanes are gonna do so to increase the performance of this road since this roads one lane anyways what we can do yeah, see how all these are going out. We'll just go ahead and upgrade this road to a one-lane road. That should be all we need. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and open up the traffic manager again. And we'll just say that, you know, this lane here can only turn into these two lanes. And this lane can only go straight. So we're... That should... See, because all the traffic's gonna come through here and they only are able to go either straight through here. This traffic can turn. Actually, I'm sorry. We're gonna take this one out. So, all the traffic that's wanting to turn will stay in this left lane. All this traffic that wants to go straight will stay in the right hand lane. That'll just increase our flow. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing here. Uh, we have to upgrade this to a one way street. Do we want this all to be one way though? For the time being, yes, it's not gonna hurt anything. And we're just gonna go ahead and copy all of these to end up just like that one. And actually, we're gonna have to modify these just slightly. So, this left hand lane, this orange marker lane, will also converge onto this right hand lane and that should keep the traffic flowing a little bit smoother than it is currently <clears throat> and we can see our commercial areas slowly starting to build up there now we do have an extra zone to unlock i believe we had this unlocked last episode but we weren't too worried about it um, i'm still not incredibly worried about it we definitely need to worry about our education though um Future plans are to expand the residential zone upwards here, along our crater here. So ideally, if we could place our new elementary school, plop it there. That should be, yeah, we need another. Mm. Fortunately, we don't have the money again, which does suck go ahead and start eliminating these power lines. Once again, they're not needed. I believe. <laughs> we'll double check that. Okay, yes. We'll just zone all this residential. Try and definitely keep people flowing in. Um, okay, yes, never mind. I thought these were the sewage. You don't want to place residential buildings next to your sewage outputs. It just creates issues with citizens getting sick. And I don't worry about the deaths. So as I believe I explained in a previous episode, the cemeteries, normally you would need to place a bunch down to keep your population, obviously all the dead people will go to the cemetery. But I have a mod installed that really I only have installed to prevent the death waves that you'll get once you uh, have the ability to unlock the high density zones, which are awesome. But at the same time, they create a lot of issues in the later game. Really, you'll see your population just start dropping by thousands. Your money will plummet. And it kind of ruins the fun of the game. For me, at least. 
So, looks like we actually have a huge demand still for the shopping, the commercial districts. So, we're just going to go ahead and zone this entire street off. Which I hope they fill. That would be awesome. We do have to worry about... Yeah, it looks like people are starting to complain in the industry area that there's not enough workers. That's just because we're expanding out a heck of a lot more industry and commercial areas here. Wow, we're not really getting any new residential zones, which is an issue. Um, it's definitely something we have to worry about. So we got 13,000. We can either place down a new school or we can try and build out our residential zone here, which, uh, which is what we're going to do for the time being. Let's see, we can either, we're pretty much going to keep this pretty grid locked. It's not the most ideal condition, but it's, it doesn't look pretty, but it works really well for the services. Um, they get really good coverage when you have more of a gridded up residential zone. The time being, that can just connect. And we'll just run these roads parallel to that one. Oops. And like so, this will give us a vast more uh, expansion room for the residential district here. And let's see if we can get a little nice curved road. That will just go in there and connect up like so. That doesn't look terrible. I can live with that. Go ahead and just go get the water issues out of the way. It does cost quite a bit to run these pipes. But at the same time, it's going to have to be done eventually. Yep, yeah, see, we're out of money. And we are making 4000 per uh, per week here. Which, we check our budget, we might be able to squeeze some extra money out of people here. Uh, no. Do we have... we do. Cool. I'm just running over the finances here. Parks, education, we have a lot in. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't look like we'll be able to at the moment. Now we did unlock these policies. Normally I don't mess around with them too incredibly much. They're not... They're very useful if you're doing a little bit later game stuff, I feel like. Probably useful for earlier game, but I just don't mess around with them a whole heck of a lot. Now we do have a pretty good demand for industrial. And we have extra areas available. So we'll just go ahead and zone that out. Like so. And that should give hopefully enough room. Commercial's finally going down. You can see we're getting some decent traffic flow up through here. Not a whole lot. Highway's still disconnected. It doesn't really matter because we have this turn off joint. Perfect. We'll go ahead and just get this pre zoned up. People hopefully will start to move in. We'll probably have to plop down some um, services before they really move in. And let's see, can we do this over here? We can. What I did was place down these, um, I still don't know how you say this, they just definitely give the beachfront look, makes it look a, a lot more clean, a lot more nice. We will hopefully have people moving in here, and traffic on these roads, still very good. This will probably end up being a very busy main street, I feel like. We may end up needing to do something. Oh, we got some people complaining about fire. How's the fire coverage? Well, fire coverage, it's pretty its pretty spotty down here. Not going to lie. But my main priority is education. We need a high school. We need this high school. Okay. 
where is a good spot to plop this down? Wow. Are we st no, I'm sorry. That's elementary school. That's right. High school, we need 24,000. Wow. Okay. We need a lot more money. We got some power issues still. Now, we can place these down all in this lake here, which I think is what we're going to do. We're going to plop one of them down. It produce about 20 megawatts. Which should get us over this energy hump. Yeah, perfect. We're producing 108. Water's not an issue. It just didn't hit. Oh, no. You're an issue. Go ahead and make sure that all is zoned out. We'll continue to run our water lines to these guys. Because I think I zoned that out. And forgot to do that. And money is a major issue. Again, money, money, money. We need more money. Oh, we got a building on fire here. Hopefully, the uh, fire department will take that out. Making good progress. We need more people to move in. We're just going to go ahead and increase the time here. Let's see, traffic flow. Oh, perfect. Just what we needed, actually. Just leveled up, and I actually think we're going to end the video here. So, next episode, when we start up. We're going to fix our education issue, place down a high school, get a few more elementary schools up, hopefully get some people moving into our residential zone here, and start uh, start getting some uh, money built up here. Alrighty guys, take it easy, I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.